Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite skincare recommendations when you have sensitive skin and you want to soothe and calm everything down. Now, this video came on a whim. I literally woke up this morning and I thought, yeah, I'm going to show everyone my favorite skincare for when I have really sensitive skin. So I basically just woke up like 10 minutes ago and now I'm going to share with you guys what I do when I have sensitive skin. And my face is like puffy, but you know, we're going to do my skincare on camera and we're going to do my morning routine together essentially. So all these products I am mentioning, I don't necessarily use them all at once. I rotate between them because it is a lot of product. I rotate between them night and in the morning, but today I just want to show you guys how it works all on the face. So let's get into it. So the first step I want to talk about is cleansing. And this is a cleanser I really love using when I have sensitive skin. This is the Be Plain Green Full pH Balance Cleansing Foam. It's kind of like an applicator for toothpaste, so you can squish it and you can see dents in it, which I don't really love because it's a bit hard to get product out. So this is like a gel cleanser and you put a tiny, tiny little bit on your hands, rinse it with some water and it foams up and you just, just lather it all over your face. It feels lovely. What I love about this cleanser is the ingredient list. It's quite simple. You have Centella Asiatica, which essentially is soothing and conditioning for the skin and also it prevents breakouts and um, pimples. And then you also have green tea in here, which is also something that likes to soothe irritated skin. So it's just very gentle, washes over and also gives your skin some kind of radiance. It also manages to reduce sebum production. So as most gel cleansers, you do tend to think of it as more drying for the skin rather than cream cleansers. So very nice if you have excess sebum production when you are sensitive like me. So this is really nice. And it also has chamomile, which again, I just think of it as really nice and sensitive for the skin. You also have great ingredients like aloe vera, allantoin, and oat extract. So allantoin is basically a ingredient for acne prone skin. It is something that prevents acne and also soothes it at the same time. So really, really nice ingredient. And oat extract is an antioxidant. So you can condition your skin. So it's perfect to use in the morning and pair it with either like a vitamin C later on or vitamin E. So really, really like this cleanser. It does its job and doesn't strip my skin too much. It's quite nice. So really, really like this cleanser. So next one I want to talk about is a mask. This is the Bonajour Mugwort's Cream Calming Mask. So it is just like a regular clay mask. You put it all over your face, you wait for it to dry, and then wash it off with lukewarm water. So I usually use this when I am in at night, just after my shower, and I leave it on for a while and then wash it off. It's almost like a gentle exfoliator, so afterwards I make sure to not use any chemical exfoliants, and I actually don't cleanse my face afterwards if I do use this. Otherwise it'll be too stripping for my skin. It has some green tea, which, uh, like I said, soothes irritate skin and reduces sebum production. So I really love that. And it actually has a minty feeling upon application. So it just soothes your face and it feels really, really nice. I really like when something is soothing and cold on my face. Um, but if you don't like that, it might feel like it's stinging, but it's just a very cool sensation. So mugwort masks usually have like chunks of leaf in it whether it's the green tea leaf or it's the actual mugwort leaf. So it acts like a physical exfoliant, like I said earlier. It also is like a moussey, creamy texture when you put it on your face. The main ingredient here is mugwort, which means it is rich in vitamin E, so a lot of beautiful antioxidants, as I said, and it nourishes and repairs the skin barrier. So I really, really like this product and highly recommend. Next, I'm going to talk about a toner. As you can see, this is very well loved. There's barely any left. This is the Pyong Kong Yu Calming Deep Moisture Toner. Literally, that's what it is. Calming Deep Moisture. It is just a really, really nice toner. I've actually been experimenting and using this with the 7 Skin Method. That video is coming up. Let me just apply some right now because my face is feeling a bit dry. So it is a very watery texture and it absorbs into the skin really, really quickly, which is something I really like. The main ingredients in this are panthenol and again, Centella Asiatica. Panthenol is a pro-vitamin B5, which means that it moisturizes and can be actually used for wound healing. So I really like using this when I have pimples and just overall some breakouts. I like to go in with two layers of toner because I feel like in the morning, after cleansing, my skin can be a little bit dry. 
um, or at least it's a little bit dry today because um, I've been speaking for a while and I just cleanse my face with nothing on my face so it's very dry. It has a very simple ingredient list and no fragrance, fragrance free. Always, always go back to this when I have um, a really bad skin day. Highly recommend. Next I want to talk about is the Rovectin Skin Activating um, Treatment Lotion. So this is quite a strange product in my opinion because it's a toner and a serum all in one and it feels very very thick as you can see it's like a very jelly and almost serum texture um, on your face but it's not sticky or tacky or anything it still feels quite liquidy and watery which I actually really like this texture it makes me feel really pampered and it just feels really luxurious on the face um, I like to kind of tap all my skincare in like this because I think it maximizes um, product absorption but it can feel a little bit sticky so that is something to keep in mind of. The standout ingredient from this product is the niacinamide which is a vitamin B3 and the main thing it does is essentially soothes and brightens your skin which I really really enjoy. Also again takes care of sebum production so that's something I look at a lot because I produce so much sebum when my skin is sensitive and not feeling good. This also has licorice root extract which again goes into the idea of skin conditioning and soothing and it's just the ingredient that I work really well with my skin. It never irritated me. This is again fragrance free so no need to worry if you are sensitive to scents. This is also really rich in hyaluronic acid. On the site I said it has seven different types of hyaluronic acid which you know uh, retains moisture and just overall attracts moisture to your face so you can make it feel really plump and nice. I use it a lot in my night routine and I highly recommend you guys try this out. Next I want to talk about a serum. This is the Eye Unique Tea Tree Relief Serum. This serum, as you can see, very, very well loved. Um, I'm halfway through and I already have a backup. So this product essentially is just for relieving the skin, moisturizing and soothing. It does say brighten and wrinkle care, but I don't see that as much. I usually go back to this when I have really red and sensitive skin because I know this calms it down. And the standout ingredients from this are, again, mostly the tea tree and centella asiatica. Centella asiatica, I feel like, is just a very common ingredient in general with Korean beauty. And as you can see, all these are Korean skincare because I find that they just have the most sensitive skin friendly ingredients and I can rely on them and layer them without feeling like I will clash and my routine will be stuffed up. So this serum is actually light green in color, not sure if it shows on camera, but once you actually put it on your face, it turns into a transparent normal serum and um, you just layer it onto your skin normally and it absorbs really quickly because it is actually leaning on the watery side. I'd say it's actually the same consistency as the Rovectin Activating Lotion. Really, really love using this. Simple ingredient list and it's just one of those products. It doesn't really have any standout ingredients, but I just love it. It just does what it says, which is soothing my skin and giving it some relief. I usually use this when I have destroyed my skin barrier and it just helps to repair everything. Really, really recommend and super affordable as well. Next up is COSRX. It's probably not a skincare video if I don't mention COSRX. They are probably one of my favorite brands for skincare and this is the famous Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. It is a very well-loved product. You can see I've gone through a lot of it and this is something I go to every time I have bad skin. There's something magical about snail mucin in skincare. So let me just show you. As we expected, this, the texture is just very, very odd. It's stringy, it's sticky and almost transparent. I just really love putting this oil over the face because it has a silky texture that I feel like glosses over my face and attracts and keeps all the moisture um, that I put underneath into my skin. Now this, the main standout ingredients from this are the snail mucin, which we know is anti-aging, moisturizers, and overall just really good for soothing and conditioning the skin. And I find that whenever I use this, my face feels so smooth for um, the entire day next day when I wake up. Um, learning curve with this for application is, you know, put everything on your hands first and smother it and then 
you know, actually massage it into your skin, not tapping it because otherwise you'll leave like these sticky marks. But this is really nice and it also has some Panthenol in it, which uh, we know is moisturizing and can be used for wound healing. So I know when I put this on over my pimples or sensitive areas, it wouldn't exacerbate it. It would just condition and heal it. So really, really love this product. Next, I want to talk about the Purito Centella Green Level Eye Cream. I feel like this is quite a controversial product just because everyone hates on eye cream since they think it is an overpriced um, moisturizer, which I do agree, but I actually really love using this because when I wake up in the morning, it was pretty obvious that I had quite puffy eyes and eyelids, and I find that this really, really reduces it and makes my eyes feel more awake when I'm using it. So I like to just take a tiny, tiny little bit, uh, the size of half a pea, and then put it on my ring finger because it's the most gentle finger, and then just tap this under and over my eyes, in the contours, and it has this nice cooling sensation. Um, so when I put it on my eyes, immediately I feel more awake and it reduces the puffiness. The standout ingredients are Centella Asiatica and Panthenol as well as green tea. This also has Matacastic Acid, which is another skin conditioning ingredient which repairs and soothes over your skin. So really like it. I love the ingredients in this. It's quite simple. It's effective. It does what it says. So really recommend this product and this line in general if you want to try out something. Next up, I want to talk about another Cosrx product. This is the Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. I have to say, I love this product. This overnight mask is probably my favorite. So the main ingredient here that is emphasized is definitely the rice, which we know is an antioxidant. So you can use this in the morning and pair it with your vitamin C or E. And what it does is it increases collagen and makes your skin more supple, which is actually what it does. And another product that is um, in here is the glycerin, which retains moisture. So you can use it overnight and it doesn't dry out your skin. This also has sunflower seed oil, which is a vitamin E and helps with inflammation. So I really love using this when I can see my skin getting really red or when I have a pimple and I just see it emerging. So I just slap this on overnight and the next day it reduces the inflammation a lot. It doesn't get rid of the pimple, like the pimple still needs to burst and come out and etc. Can't stop the process, but it makes the process a lot more bearable and less painful. And another thing this has in it is niacinamide, which brightens your skin. Now, this product, when I put it on overnight, the next day I can visibly see my skin getting brighter. It's one of those products you can see results with immediately. And it really just makes my skin feel more glowy the next day and it doesn't feel like it's forced that, you know, sunscreen kind of white cast wonder situation. It just feels like it's a glow from within and my skin just feels really, really nice with this. And the texture is very, very thin. So it's just like applying any moisturizer, but a little bit goes a very long way. Um, just that pea-sized amount is enough to go with the entire face. And that is something just really, really nice because Another thing with products is even though sometimes I'm using the right products at the right time, I put too much on and that actually creates issues because it can block my pores. That's something I've learned with my skincare as well. Little goes a long way and don't put too much on. Um, less is more. So this is something I really love about this product. You only need to use it a little bit and you can see visible results. Okay, now that I lathered on way too many products on my skin, it's finally time to wrap up the morning routine with some sunscreen. You cannot leave out sunscreen for your morning routine. It is probably the most important part. And this is the new Purito Daily Go-To Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 plus. I just specifically like using this because it says it's hyperallergenic and that just gives me a false assurance that it's going to be safe for the skin and really nice. But um, do keep in mind if SPF breaks you out, do consult with um, professionals. But this is just something I've been enjoying a lot lately and I want to share because it is very, very weightless and it protects you against UVA and UVB as well as being scentless, so fragrance free. And that can be something that's really irritating for most people. And most of all, it doesn't have a white cast. That is probably the number one thing I look for when I buy or use a sunscreen. It's the white cast because 
even though I know it's very important to wear sunscreen every single day, um, I'm actually quite traumatized from Neutrogena sunscreen where it's sticky and it just feels really heavy on the face as well as leaving an incredible white cast for the next five hours and you probably can't wash it off in the shower at once so you need to scrub yourself like crazy. So I try to practice what I preach but sometimes I really just hate sunscreen and um, Korean sunscreen is something that made me feel like I want to wear more sunscreen and protect my skin which is a good thing so a step up and this sunscreen as you can see it's a very very light texture as I'm smoothing it all over my face it feels just like a moisturizer if you do think it has a white cast it doesn't it's just naturally my face is like three shades lighter than my neck I don't know what that's Oh, I don't know why, um, but that's just why if you do think it has a white cast, it doesn't. It's not the sunscreen's fault, it's my face's fault, you know, like, I just have, like, two different shades from face to neck. And this ingredient list is just really, really simple. The key standout here is oat, which, again, is soothing the skin and just repairing your skin barrier. So you're getting kind of, like, sun protection and a little bit of skincare in it as well. Even though sunscreen itself is a skincare, but you know what I mean. Like, an extra ingredient to take care of your skin. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my recommendations for products you can use when you have sensitive skin and need soothing or calming down. I did put way too much things on my face today, but I really want to just show you guys how to apply it, what it feels like, etc. And talk about the textures on camera. The main takeaway and my favorite products, if you want to get anything, first of all, is definitely... The Codarex Duo. Really love this nail product. It just makes my skin feel really nice. It almost feels like one of those products where it soothes your wrinkles um, and anti-aging. Really love this. And the overnight mask, I absolutely love it. I think this is something that everyone can enjoy and that sensation in the morning when you just feel so put together and your skin brightened and moisturized. Really love this. And definitely recommend the Pyongkong New Toner as well. So you can see, there's like three uses left in it, <laughs> not even three, maybe two. And this has just never gone wrong with me for my skin. It's just a very simple ingredient list and great for sensitive skin. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys for the next video.